Welcome to the Lost Shepherds Ministries International, headed by God's servant Joseph Asikoyaba. God's people, if the virtues of the kingdom is preached and all we do is to hear, without experiencing it, it's fake. Our gospel will have no effect, our life will not change if all what we hear, we don't experience it. This is the divine word fountain. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Beloved, stay tuned. Say amen. Clap your hands right now. Clap better for Jesus. Amen. We want to lift up our voice in prayer. This is our month of prayer. Amen. And last week we were looking at Psalm 23. And this week, the same thing. We'll go to the same chapter. Psalm 23. Psalm 23. We'll do the verse 6. Psalm 23 from verse 6. Okay. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. In the house of the Lord God forever. Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. We want to lift up our voice at the place of prayer. He said, goodness, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I want you to lift up your voice in this season. When we say the goodness of God, the goodness of God, we are talking about the benevolence, God's benevolence, God's benevolence. And there comes a time in your life where God must just be good to you. He must just be what? Be good to you. Out of his benevolence, he has decided to do one thing or the other in your life. It's called his goodness. His goodness. His benevolence. He shouldn't do it anyway. But he has done it. It is out of his goodness. Out of his goodness. For instance, I come to this place right now and then he never begged me of a handkerchief but I know that where he's going he will need a handkerchief it will form a crucial part in his life and then I give it to him he didn't beg me to receive it it's out of benevolence out of my own goodness because I'm good that's why I give it to him there are things that must happen to your life and the results must be that because God is good. Say bigger amen. amen. Because what God is just good. That's why he did it. That's what we mean. Goodness. Surely goodness. So he's saying that a time will come in my life that surely because God is good. There are things that even though I won't ask for. But out of his goodness. Because of his goodness. He will do it unto me. He will give it to me. Say bigger amen. amen. Say my neighbor. Out of God's goodness, out of God's goodness, he will be good to me. He will do good to me in the name of Jesus. So he said, surely goodness, 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 goodness. So we all are at a point in our lives. What God will do in our life, it will be based on his goodness because he's a good God. Because he's what? He's a good God. Because he's a good God. And that will be the basis of our prayers right now. That because you are good, ah, may your goodness. And he said what? He said, all the days of my life. This is because I know I will need his goodness every step I take. Say yes, bigger amen. amen. There comes a time where, for instance, you are taking a step. And the step you are taking, God wasn't consulted. And because of that, Satan had wonderful plans to destroy your life. For God to intervene in that situation is because he's good. This is because you never came to him to inquire that Lord should I or I should not. You just out of your own will consciousness took the step. And so God can fold his hands and watch you die or scatter. Imagine you are going to a car and then you took a car bam you are going. You never pray to see God's counsel to know either it's clear or not. You just jump in a car and a car you jump in was an accident marked car. To escape the accident is because God will be good. Because God is good. That out of his goodness, we just okay, hey, angels, 
set him free. Angels save him. David said, all the days of my life, you will lift up your voice. My father, my father. All the days of my life, may your goodness. Now, the mercies. Of course, I've thought of mercies, mercies several times. When there is judgment, legit, legitimately, you deserve to be stoned. And yet still, God is saying no. That woman that was caught on the, that he was caught on the act. The act. So it means that we, they had video evidence. She was caught in the act of adultery. She was caught in the act. So they caught them naked, naked on each other. And they dragged her. Legitimately by the law. She was supposed to be stoned to death. Legitimately. Legitimately. She's supposed to die. Yes, you the crime, you the crime was what was committed by you. It is true. You deserve to be punished. Then out of the blues, because of his mercy, he's saying that although it's wrong, but pardon him. It's called the mercies of God. Say bigger amen. You come from a family that is adult worshiping is the foundation. And everything must crumble. Every man must not become great in the family because they've sold the what the greatness to the idols in the family. And yes, it's legitimately so. It's supposed to be so for everyone. Everyone from the firstborn struggle, second born, third born, or the last born. But you run to the Lord. Then you see that even though legitimately it's supposed to be so, but my mercy is saying no. Hallelujah. You need these two things. His goodness and his mercy. Hallelujah. You want to lift up your voice and pray that my father, my father, in this season, mm, may your goodness and may your mercies follow me and my family all the days of my life. Say a bigger amen. At times, you are praying, but your mom and dad is not praying. Your one sibling is very stubborn. He's not praying. He is not praying. He has no idea of what is going on in you know, the spirit. And then, you know, he has done things and he is supposed to be caught, supposed to, to die. Then out of his mercy, that person is saved. Would you pray right now? Lift up your hands right now. Your hands. Your right hand of fire. Say, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus, as I begin to pray, oh God, may your goodness and your mercies from today Follow me and my family all the days of our lives in the name of Jesus. Pray right now. Katala Bayata. May the goodness of the Lord, may the mercies of the Lord begin to follow me all the days of my life in the name of Jesus. May the goodness of God, all the days of our lives in this family, in the family of Asikoyaba, all the days of our lives, we shall enjoy the goodness of God, the mercies of God in the name of Jesus. Let's have your voice. Begin to pray, begin to pray. Wayaba Kata, Eleva Katalaba, goodness and mercies, all the days of my life in the name of Jesus. Goodness and mercies in the daytime, goodness and mercies in the night hour. No Lord, let there be the activation of goodness and mercies, goodness and mercies, goodness and mercies. Kayaka Lapada, Adapa Katalaba,
Heavenly Father, I declare, I declare concerning me, Joseph, concerning me, Akinis, and my family, and my family, your goodness, your goodness, and your mercy, and your mercy, in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus shall, begin, shall begin and shall continue, and shall continue, to, continue to, follow me, to follow me, and my family, and my family all, the all the days of our lives. Of our lives in, the Jesus, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, it shall be said, shall be said that, God that God is good, is good to the family, to the family of Joseph. Of it shall be said, shall be said God, is God is merciful to the family, to the family of Joseph of in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Clap your hands for you people. Do it better. Do it better. Yes. Do it better one more time. Better one more time. Hallelujah. Say amen. Can you once again declare that Jesus is Lord. Say, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Again. Jesus is Lord. One more time. Jesus is Lord. If you believe that, clap your hands for Jesus all this place. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Kindly be seated in heavenly places even right now. Oh, will you clap again? Are you, just clap again. Clap again. Amen. And so, to God alone be all the glory. Say amen. amen. Say, my neighbor, amen. you look wonderful than the last time I met you. Say, hi, prince or hi, princess. Amen. Say, you are blessed amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, I believe in you. I believe God for your life. That greatness is your portion say amen can we clap one more time for the king of kings i mean for the king of kings amen say amen when we say clap your hands now what we are seeing is that we say clap your hands for jesus this is the meaning you know we are celebrating god because if it was left with the wishes of your enemies you won't be here and so the reason why you have to clap for jesus and then be excited is because despite the ill wishes of the enemy god his counsel still was made manifest in your life say bigger amen. amen so if i'm clapping this is what i have in mind here and i'm clapping that god is good yes that god is good amen shout a bigger amen. amen we began to study a team three weeks ago uh, no two weeks ago and the team is the mystery of godliness and we made several striking remarks this past two weeks we came to the understanding that it is but a necessary evil that godliness must be exemplified in your life. And last week we came to an understanding that to nurture godliness Jesus must be your example or you must find an example in Christ. So I said that the reason of Christianity is broken down into three parts which make up the gospel. Jesus' death, his burial, and what? Resurrection. It forms the gospel. So I said, godliness must be exemplified in our lives. This is because Jesus is our example. And when he came to live on this earth, 
as the model of perfection we saw how he lived his life and for that matter if you become a christian that's someone that believes in jesus christ you are expected to exemplify same virtues and we said that you know christ being our, our example will help you looking unto jesus who is the altar and the finisher of our faith so i said you know in the kingdom or in christianity there must come to a point where your eyes is on jesus if not you will miss it there are things you will go through that if your eyes is not on jesus you will backslide there are things you will encounter that if your eyes if you don't look unto jesus who is the altar and the finisher of our faith you will give up you will give up you will give up and we said number two we said yielding to the holy spirit can help you you know exemplify godliness so i said that we have several appetites of this flesh he said walk in the spirit and ye will not fulfill the desires of the flesh so we said that if you want to exhibit godliness in your life you must understand the place of yielding to the holy spirit where you yield to the holy spirit where you you you, you have an intimacy with the father where you are given to you know the structure of craving in the kingdom which is craving to pray craving to fast craving to study god's word i said if you build this foundation it will help you to what exhibit godliness masturbation will die hey addiction to porn will die if you are given to fellowship you know how to stand before god and fellowship you have time to fellowship with god every now and then all those appetites will die so that was last week this week we'll continue say bigger your man we will continue this week and we'll look at the importance of godliness the importance of godliness why is it necessary to have you know a lifestyle of godly living godly living godly living living a lifestyle of godliness what are the importance what are the importance now before we go there understand that wisdom from god's word is behind the making of principles he said wisdom is but a principal thing if you want to become a principality in your area of calling a principality in your area of giftings you have to understand that wisdom from god's word can make you to become such a solid character in that field now we don't know someone's wisdom by what they say but we know someone's wisdom by what he or she does jesus said something in matthew 7 24. he said therefore whoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them i will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock you are supposed to become a hearer not only that but a doer a doer also every truth that's said from god's word that comes to you it becomes wisdom something you take to the house something you take and and and, and the whole week it becomes you know it becomes your, your your checkpoint he said if anyone hears the word and then start to do it he's a wise man so what you know who makes sense than what you do if what you know what you claim you know you can't do it you don't know it and in fact is the doing that brings the glory they that do know do and know their god shall be strong and they will do exploit so i pray that as we come to encounter god's word you will take something to the house and the whole week you will take something that will be a checkpoint in your spirit helping you to live in the office in your homes in your hostels in your lecture halls say bigger amen, amen. say better amen. amen now quickly the importance of godliness why is it important for a young man for a young woman to begin to desire 
to live a godly lifestyle. Number one, godliness is a defensive mechanism for the believer. Godliness is a defensive mechanism for the believer. The importance of godliness. Or why godliness? Number one, godliness is a defensive mechanism for the believer. Lift up your heads and listen now. God's people, one of the importance of godliness is that godliness is what? Is a defensive mechanism for the believer. If you start to exemplify godliness in your life, you are building a defensive mechanism against controlling powers and forces. You are building a defensive mechanism against Satan and his cohorts. You are building a defensive mechanism against manipulations, against afflictions, and against, you know, entanglement of the enemy. Godly living. Godliness. Job chapter 1. Job chapter 1 from verse 1 to 2. There was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job. And that man was perfect and upright and one that feared God and eschewed evil. So all these attributes that were given to Job in one word, godliness. He was godly. That was all. He feared the Lord. And true evil is one thing. He was godly. Now let's go to Job chapter 1 verse 9 to 10. The same Job 1 9 to 10. Now, this is Satan who is giving his testimony concerning Job. He said, then Satan answered the Lord and said, Do Job fear God for nothing or for naught? Verse 10. Has not thou made a hedge about him and about his house and about all that he had on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands and his substance is increased in the land. We saw chapter 1 verse 1 that Job feared God. He eschewed evil. His life exemplified godliness. And then we came to the verse 9. Satan was weeping and crying about God's hand over Job's life. Why? He said, you, 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 you. Job is not worshipping you for nothing. But Job is doing all that because you have placed a hedge around him. All what he has. I can't touch it. I'm unable to penetrate and destroy Job. You are the one who is doing that for Job. What was the foundation? Job, his life exemplified godliness. What happened? It built a defensive mechanism that Satan was unable to touch him. He became untouchable because he was godly. If you start to become godly, sir, you will become a serious contender for the devil. You become untouchable, untouchable. Job was confessing. The Lord asked him, have you considered my servant Job? He said, yes. Is it not you? Why is the devil so accurate in counting the things God has placed ahead of fire run about it? There are things he tried to touch. He could not touch them. He had no access. Hear me carefully. When you start to become godly, you deny Satan of the right and the access to torment you. The access is denied. If a man want to be, want to be, I mean, a serious contender, a hard nut for the devil to crack, start to exemplify godliness in your life. Look at Job. Bible said the whole east, he feared the Lord. He has stood evil. He was an upright man. In all, all in one is he was godly. And because of that, God placed a hedge of fire run about him. When you start to live a godly lifestyle, what you are doing is that you are building what? A defensive mechanism. Around your life, you are making yourself untouchable. You are making yourself a hard nut to be touched. Say, bigger, amen. 
Say better, amen. amen. Now, John chapter 14, verse 30. We saw Jesus Christ speaking. Now, he was talking to his disciples and he said, Hereafter, I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and had nothing in me. He's saying that Satan will be coming to me after here. But my joy is that he has what? Nothing in me. He cannot penetrate in my life. He can't manipulate me. He can't control me. He has nothing in me. Sir, the reason why it has become a very difficult thing for young people, for Christians, for young men and young women to live godly lifestyles because when you do that, Satan has lost. He has lost the right and the access to afflict your, to exploit your life. He has lost that control. He has lost it. You'll be like Job, a head of fire. Your marriage is intact. Fire is there, sir. Your marriage is, is intact. Who, who dares which devil that you write things and then you will turn it? And so the devil wants to make money out of your life. He wants to exploit your, your small life you have. He wants to control you. That's why it will become difficult for you to, you know, naturally do what is right. It's difficult. It's a difficult thing to become godly. The devil wants to take advantage of your life. Make money. Use your sperm. Your, your sperm and, and feed demons. Use your blood. Feed demons. The devil won't take advantage of these things. And so if you come to a place where you are so intact, highly wired, ruggedized in the things of God, you are godly, how will he, the, the, how will he feed the demons? The demon of lust. The demon of lust won't be empowered. He will be what? He will be, he will be, he will be dispowered. He can't be empowered against you. He will be incapacitated. He comes to you, he's just, I, I want to kill him, he can't. They will send an agent, he will appear in your room and then he can't touch you. You are, you are blazing with what? With godliness, you are blazing. You are, oh, you are blazing, he can't. They will send an arrow of a disease to your organs as it's coming. Guess what? The power of godliness will shield you. That a hedge. How did Job get that? Chapter 1 verse 1. He feared the Lord. He was godly. I don't know, but hear me carefully. We are in a season and times where we are going to face dangerous times, dangerous things ahead of us. Everybody. That if you don't have firm foundation in the Lord, the wind will carry you away. We will not find you again. You'll be, miss you'll, you'll be missing. You'll be lost. That's why in this season, I'm telling you that you have to be godly. You must be godly. Not that maybe you must. You should. You must. It's a must. Defensive mechanism. Some diseases. I'm telling you, sir. Godliness will do what? It will. It will choke it. It will choke it. You are too God. Now, God. God. God will be criticized in heaven if He allows that. If He allow God will be what? Criticize in heaven by the cabinet if He allows that. He, he can't allow that, sir. There are people God has vowed and God will vow. For this one, no. For this one, don't touch him. He is untouchable. He is what? Don't, don't, don't try it. Don't try it. Don't try it. So Jesus Christ has shown us that godliness is possible. And Job, and Job, and Job, he said, the prince, he cometh to me. He is coming. With a disease, he's coming with an arrow. To mature death is coming. To, he's coming to knock on my family, on my door with that. But he has nothing in me. He's unable to penetrate. I've built a wall. I've built a wall, solid wall. Nothing can, can penetrate. So if you are watching me right now, anywhere you are, online and in person service, let me tell you: if you want to build a defensive mechanism against all wickedness against every agenda every plan of the enemy be godly be godly jesus said he's coming 
answer will be coming. Save will be coming. Failure will be coming. And guess what? It might knock on your door. Do you have what it takes? That it will come and it's crashed. Godliness is a defensive mechanism. If you are living anyhow, oh, I pity you, sir. Sister, it's about time you run. Because your, the, your defensive wall is broken. Your defensive walls are what it is. It's been broken. It's been destroyed. He said, if the foundation of the righteous are destroyed, what can they do? What can they do? So, the first importance of being godly is that godliness is what? A defensive mechanism. It's a defensive mechanism. Now, hear this. Satan is an opportunist. He's what? He's what? An opportunist. He likes to take advantage of people. Number one, their ignorance. Number two, their weakness. Number three, their situation. He is an opportunist. Let's go to the Bible. I want um, amplified. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 27. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 27. He said, And do not give the devil an opportunity. <laughs> Don't give him what an opportunity to lead you into sin by holding a grudge or nurturing anger or harboring resentment or cultivating bitterness. Don't give the devil an opportunity. When you start to live an ungodly lifestyle, ungodliness, it empowers the devil against you. I repeat, ungodliness. It does what? It empowers the devil against you. He will take an, ad an advantage of your life. Go forgive sin. Sin is not a challenge. But when you start to live your life under the bondage of sin, you have given a license to Satan to deal with you, to torment you, to control you, to manipulate you, to exterminate you. You are empowering Satan. Give him the gun. Like, it's like putting a gun in the hands of your enemies to sh to be, that they should shoot you. So he's saying that don't give. Do not give the devil an opportunity. Smoking is a way to do what? You are giving the devil an opportunity to do what? To give you cancer. To one day design cancer nicely and baptize you with it. So every act of iniquity and ungodliness it does what? It gives Satan an opportunity. Meanwhile, from scripture we've been, ad we've been advised that what? Do not give what? An opportunity to the devil. Don't give an opportunity. Don't give. Some of you dating right now won't help you. It won't help you. Drop it. It won't help you. You know why? You do what? You will give an opportunity to the devil. And guess what? He's so scary. He said, do not. So it's your responsibility. Yeah. Look at look, just look at the way you live your life. And he's saying that there's someone called the devil. Don't give him what? The don't empower him. Don't make him strong. Don't make him super powerful against you. Don't make him. So some, what, what here? The devil isn't powerful. It is you who can what? Make him what? Powerful or powerless. It is you. How you live. How you live. He wants to control your marriage. He wants to steal your every good thing in your life. He wants the way to he wants the way to enter. He wants access. He wants access and ungodliness. That's what it gives him such access, such opportunity to your life. 
So godliness can never be what? Yeah, you can never play with it, sir. Don't give him opportunity. And if you give the devil a place, he will take your space. He will take your space. Do not give a place to the devil. He said, don't give him an opportunity. You are a young man. Your destiny is... Hey, young man, you have a glorious destiny. The devil has seen it. He will come looking for what? Looking for an opportunity. He will come. Several things you see in this world, he will bring them to you to entice you. Ah, won't you do this? Won't you go here? Won't you do that? Won't you do this? He just wanted, he want an opportunity to enter into your life and now manipulate you and now control every good thing in your life and now stop every wonderful thing God wants to do in your life. So we here, we have a very serious thing on our heads and it's that do not give. Hey, how lie? Do not give. In all what you do, don't give an opportunity to what? To the devil. Ungodliness. When you start to fashion your life after ungodliness, this is what you are doing. You are doing what? You are giving the devil an opportunity. Ah, say my father. Say my father. Help me. I will not give opportunity to the devil. It's like it's like, as I said, giving your enemies what can kill you. So Samson, God was trying to preserve his life. So God gave the parameters for his safety. The Lord told his mom, this child, no razor, should touch his hair. That's one. Number two, strong drink or alcoholic beverage he must not touch. Number three, if it's time for him to marry, he can't marry this type of women. All these three things that God outlined was, for what? was so that Satan won't have an opportunity against who? Samson. And guess what? Like Samson, like us today, you can't tell me what I should do. I'm a man of age now. I'm a lady. Hey, say my mean deity. Hey, 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 me. Hey, say a man. Hey, a man. Hey, me. 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 He was saying it. I'm the strongest man in the world. I take what I want. Any nyash I see, I want. He began to what? Last after the women God has warned. The devil took advantage. The same line. The same type of women the Lord for warned was the same women that led something to his, his early grave. His defensive mechanism was in exhibiting godliness. The things God has said, don't do. Don't do them. Stay intact. As you do so, you'll be empowered. But Samson will not understand, like many of us here. When we tell that, hey, you know, he said, ah, ah, pastor, pastor, so it's kissing a sin. It's not a sin now. It's not a sin. You know, we are dating, having sex. It's not a sin. It's normal. But you, you have no idea. You have no idea, young man. The devil wants to profit with your life. You have no idea. There's someone who, who wants to damage everything you ever built in life. You have no idea. You think it's just you and the person? No. It's not just you. What you want to do? No. It's your generation, your children. It's your future. And the devil is wiser than you. And he's seeing that. He's seen that getting something occupied and wasted, a whole nation will be in bondage. A whole nation will be, will be slaves. The reason why the nation Israel wasn't slaves 
was for Samson's sake. For Samson's re- sake, the whole nation was enjoying freedom. And Samson had no idea that his, 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 his stature, his stamina was for the preservation of a whole nation. He did not know. He didn't know. That's how some of you, some of you don't know that in the family, you are the one God has chosen to preserve the entire family. Watch what Joseph said. He said, God sent me ahead to preserve you. Maybe. And watch what? What, what happened to Joseph? The devil came for an opportunity. But the first wife, an opportunity. She came. Gave him an opportunity. Just lie with me. She added what? Just lie with me. He said, just. Sex is, is, is what? It's nothing. Just. And then, the young man was seeing Prime Minister and sex. Kai! <laughs> he was smarter enough. <clears throat> I've lost Prime Minister. Kai! He wronged. Ran. Some of you, the devil is knocking on your door with some opportunities. He wants something in your life. He has seen that you are the one who will bring wealth to the family. Wealth, wealth. But my bet air bow in chamber call. or the bow in chain. Loto. Loto my. He's bringing it. He's selling it. He's selling it to you. He's selling it dear to you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He has seen that you are a man, you are a young man in your loins. There can be a president from your loins. He will bring masturbation. And that particular sperm that must produce the president, why then? Why Pierre Gabontain? I see your mind. Pierre Gabontain. Your bad house on you. Jimmy. Master! Say, Kaunti. The devil is what he is a wise devil. Oh. Please, if I something Satan, don't say he's stupid. He's a wise devil. He is very calculated in his dealings. He knows whatever he's doing. Sure. He has sat down, planet, thought over it, confirmed, signed, sealed. He's aware. He knows what he's doing. Sir, he's not confused. He's not confused. The, the devil. He is not confused. Never. He is very accurate. But you, is you, he's fooling. Because he wants to get advantage. Ad- opportunity. Opportunity. He, he, wa- he wants it. But a young man got in the family and he has seen it. Samson. Samson, we did every council failed. Every advice feels some. No, don't go. You say, young women, there are women here. Take them. No, become promiscuous with these women. With these women, at least they are our own. They messed up with them. He said, No, Delilah, I will die with her. And then, guess what? Devil took advantage of his love for Delilah. And then, that the loss of the Philistines, they met Delilah. And they, and they gave her the contract. Contract. And she signed the amount you receive. It was all inclusive. And she was she had one mission. Bring something down. But how will you bring him down? Go as his what? His babe. His what? Babe. My babe. My babe. And so she came with wet ties. With what? Wet ties. Hey. Some laughs. If you put your head there, your destiny is gone. Hey. Some laughs. Hey. You, can't think, you can't think again. Your brain is gone. Just freeze. Freeze brain. Freeze brain. Some said, kept the head on a laps. And Lila started what? Caressing his head, the hair. Suddenly, the trim, the sun, 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 the sun,
and the <laughs> and the, that dark cover in the eyes disappeared. Only white remained. The Esther scene, the fantasy was what was in a high level. Then he asked him, "Where is your strength? This should be a, a red flag. A what? Red flag." You're in love. What are, what are, what are strength would do with love? The devil is smart. Hey. And then, this is the devil you were against. Over 8,000 years. Devil. And Bible said that you face him face to face like this. And don't give him what? An opportunity. Kai. I have work to do. Me, I have what you do. Maybe you, you are me. I have, he, see, don't give him. Don't give. He said, don't give. Don't do not give. It's in your power. Don't give it. Don't give it. Don't give it. Something like we saw what happened to him. He gave the opportunity to Satan. And a great man became a laughing stock that they took off his eyes and they will bring him year in and year out when they bring him and then they will be lashing him then as he's acting they will be laughing and be making merry drinking wine oh a general of god has become a laughing stock weak as a piece of thread all because he gave an opportunity to the devil you are here young lady God wants to make you great, sir. Young man, God wants to take you far. And the devil will not just watch you go. He will come knocking on your door. Don't give him what? The opportunity. Don't do it. It's fun. You are joking. Some, he thought it was fun. And one day, something went, went to a place. Slept with a prostitute. In the night, he had a hint that um, there were enemies around. He got up from that, that room, carried the city gates. In those days, like Kumasi, like this, we have a gate that's Kumasi City Gate. If you are entering from the north, south, east, and west, and one man with his one hand carried the gate, climbed the mountain, and burned it, he became a yastic. What at all can they do? They can't do that. They can't do not, nothing to me. I can live anyhow, touch anybody, do anything, and still be great. But little did he know that all these things that was coming was there was an opportunity. Was what he was given. Ah, say my father, help me. I will not give the devil an opportunity to be afflicted. Clap now for Jesus right now. Scan Corinthians 2 verse 11. Scan Corinthians 2 verse 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage over us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. I want another version. Oh God. Kato Sakapaya. So that Satan will not outsmart us. For we are familiar with his evil schemes. In other words, if you are not familiar with his evil schemes, he will outsmart you. He will outsmart you. He will outsmart you. So godliness, that's what he does. It, it builds a defensive mechanism against all his evil schemes. So he can't penetrate. He can't. What will he use? Is it money? You have solid godly character. That any money that's not yours, you won't take it. You won't touch it. You won't touch it. Some of you, you can lie. Lies. That lies you, are, you, are, you, keep, you, you keep on committing. Keep on. One day, he's watching you. He's setting you up 
for a colossal embarrassment and you can't escape. He's watching you. Now we can't talk. Now we can't for, Now it's not even for what for fun. You can lie. You can just lie for free. Just for fun. You, whether they will beat you, they won't beat you, they, will, they won't kill you, they won't kill you. Just for fun. You just where are you? Hey, I'm on a road, though, yet you are lying on your bed. What they won't beat you to? There's something he wants with that lifestyle. He said, less it is what advantage he asked masters. Less, he said, for we are familiar with his devices, his evil schemes. We, we know it, that mm, this one, this fornication is a device. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. Quite it anyhow, I'm not interested. It's a device. This stealing is a device. I'm not, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. And that's what godliness makes you. You have a firm foundation, a firm belief, solid principles, buoyant morals. You can't just be deceived anyhow. No. You are, no, this one, sister, this, this is you. Or this girl to, to act that, like that. <laughs> you are talking to me. I won't listen to you. I won't, I've seen you. Now, one of the most demeaning things for the devil is when you are familiar with his evil schemes. Like Jesus Christ on the mountains. He came. And then to him, he has sat down as planned. And this one to work. This one to own. Him. He will know that he will know it's me. That he said to him, If thou art the Son of God, turn this stone to bread. Hey. Is he a sin? No, is he a sin? But he has an end. It was only a means. <laughs> He said, for 40 days he fasted, and after he was hungry, that's when he came. So, the issue is not about the bread. It's about what the bread will do. <laughs> so, if being food I eat, you eat, oh, devil, no, I don't eat. Okay, fine, fine, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 you eat, okay. Let me use this small key. Okay. It's not me that turned it to, bre to, to bread. It is you, your own power. Now imagine Christ being hungry, turned his stone to bread, and then he did. Will he throw it away? <laughs> will he throw it away? Ah uh, ah. Uh, will he throw, will he throw it away? I want, uh, no dear. First first thing I did. Ashe. Yes. Just look look at the way he came, and guess what? Jesus was familiar. With his schemes, he said, It is written, it is written, man shall not live out by the alone. He was planning what another word, another he want opportunity. He just want opportunity. Okay, since he's talking about the word, let's go to the word. He, he said that he took him to what? The high mountain. And said, For it is written, He shall give his angels charge over thee, that they will bear you in their arms, and your feet won't dash a stone. So, for that reason, by the scripture, Sir, fall down. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! Da, see you, it's okay. You know, is that what's what written? So okay, fine. Mm, the guy is now using what's written. Me too, I use for what? For it's written. Then he started. For it's written. He shall give his angels charge concerning thee. And in their hands they shall bear up thee. Lest at thy time thy thy dash thy dash thy foot against the stone. So do what? Shall we you say it's written? Me too, I say it's written. For opportunity. I'm telling you, 
He can flow you for, sir, for 30 years for one opportunity. On paper, baby, just one. One, one guy can, can, can come just for, for four years, five years, six years, seven years. Sister, seven years in your life. She has always been there pursuing you. Do you have that stamina? That st- that capacity? Guys, who are fair? My men, who are fair? All what you want in a man is in him. In fact, he is he. <laughs> Whatever he says he is, he is. Four years. Consistently. Five years. Texting you. Calling you, you block him. You shall not to call you. Ah! Say, go you cry. Then they will come. Just mind him and rest. <laughs> and you, you see, he will come, he will come like, like, like a kind man who cares, who understands you. God, 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 God doesn't understand you. I understand you better. A human being, you have feelings. Ah! He will let you know that, that God is very wicked. He doesn't care. He, 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 he understands how you feel. It's normal. You drink 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, No. Did you fight somebody? No. Did you go to the house? Yes. Did you sleep well? Yes. So. And he won't tell you that I want to take your glory. That's why he should drink. That one he won't tell you. He won't tell you. He won't tell you that your marriage, I want to, I want to destroy. He won't tell you that one. He won't tell that your future, I want to mash it like God <laughs> mash potatoes. He, he won't tell you that one. Ah, say my father. Help me. Help me that in my life I will not give an opportunity to the devil. Yes. Help me. Lest he take advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his what? Devices. Godliness will empower you. You have a stature, solid foundation that you are able to withstand. You, like, you will know that this one this is Satan. No. Now imagine like in those days when, when I was smoking, there were tricks the narcotics people used to catch these smokers. And people are, who are into heroin and then cocaine. Someone will come and then mingle among you. Smoke with you. Even become the what? Become the man. The man. The man who has the goose. Selling it for you. You can come and sell for t- two, three years. You are buying from, from him. And guess what? You know, we base, we, we talk. In fact, we are, we are all brethren. We are what? Brethren. <laughs> we talk, we eat together. I'm telling you, we people, oh my, my goodness. Ah! You get food, it's for the boys, everybody. Charlie, me need you, senior, in the Oh, TB, TB, TB. Why? It's, it's, it's okay with you. Now, when. Now they use when they are coming to you know to arrest us, scate. Normally they don't get the people they really so they can either send someone to come and join you. Like one of your own. Who sit with you, smoke together, one day can you call you, come, I've got I've got this, you do, you know, and then for one opportunity, one day, one day. One day he can bring his boys to live. They are all about, let's say, seven of them with guns, pistols, with others around. You come to the base, 
They even bring more goose. That, that this one is from what is from is from is from is from China. Taekwondo. There's one they go hold. Taekwondo. Uchina ta ta what you name? As your name, you mention Carmen Chroma. <laughs> now they make profits with that adventure than just coming wow 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 oh the, the war and away but they, you see that more trina now more high you are getting high then you you are tired you hang it ah what cow better then Let's make a call. And you have, you have no idea. This guy, for the past three months, he, you've been with the person. You, are, you, have, you, have, you, have, you have lost your guard. Then out of nowhere, you see hands up. You will turn you ten guns. Ha! See me oh, yeah, chill. And in the, in, in the law court, you can't say that, uh, I, 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 no. Me don't want to share this. You can't escape. So Satan, he can come and act and be with you, understands you, come and come in a form of a man, a woman, a friend. For twenty years, thirty years, fifty, just one. Imagine Sakam. Pick this. Okay, pick this one. Please come. Please come. No, you come. You stand here. Stand this way. Relax. Now, this is God. And I'm giving this thing to this young man. This is Satan. He knows the content. He has been there with God. He knows that all good and what? Perfect gifts comes from what? The father of light. Whom there's no what? Very honest. So, I give to him. This guy is now yet to learn to know what is inside. What will attract this man to him is not his person. It's this one. As he do these things, he's spoiling his work, his kingdom. Number two, he's going up. So his eyes is on this one, not him. For him is this one. This one. And this guy is very smart to him. Just give to him. So he'll come all the days in his life. Just trying to what? <laughs> My friend. You see? <laughs> so, <laughs> no castle. He will not come at this one. No, it's you he wants. But his eyes is on this one. So you all here, you have this one in your hands. All of us here, you have it. And he has to put something in your hands before take this one. So you know that this one is when you serve God. That God will do it. It's he who will do it for you. He comes. Then he has to bring his own thing. <laughs> they are all died. Isabi. So he would it now. Uh -huh. Then that will tell you why this is not nice. Why this doesn't make sense. Why come to church? Oh, basura, oh, bad day. Now I'm sorry, them. Now we bomb fire. Eh, may um, Febi, you are. You won't drink. You won't smoke. Are you normal? Ah, ah. We are chilling, and you're doing nothing. Uh huh. So try to try, try to what? Water down this man. A chum. These days, serving God is a scam. Church is a scam. Say what about sorry? Hey, past mm, pastors. Mm. All is for this. Now what can I no no tie? Mm. This guy used to have it with two hands. He say, I bear one hand. I bear one hand. Very easy for it to, watch, to be to be lost. So I don't know you. Your own. Ewa yinfa. Yajiana. 
The way you're living, the way, the way you're living your life, your, your own, where is it? What's your own? Yaji. So how, how will he get this one? To poison these things. And the one that gave him. I buy there and cry You know, this life, life is too short. Enjoy before you die. Why must you, you know, and people get very angry when you are, you are godly. They get, oh, they get, oh, they get, they get upset. Me, I say I won't drink. Me, I'm say, you know, my my, my, my liver, I my liver, my liver, I won't drink. You know, you know where, where John do? The Jimmy sa, fan boy ya who Jimmy sa? And my baby ya who Jimmy kwasiya? Yes, they are angry, insulting. You make you feel like oh, you are useless for even serving God. You are you are wasting your time. You know you are you are confused person. Imagine oh. The confused man is calling me. He's confused. Oh, yes. Eh, now wait, now wait, now wait, 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 So small, small. His love for God is going down. God thinks his mm, world, the world, world. I know what you like a world. Eh, small alcohol. Small women. So I don't crack, crack. Because you know how far, so he will pull you far out, far away. But oh, let's go now. Ah, ah, in life, oh, the namha. Mumbra, mumbra. Bring him out to this place. This place now, and then now give him what this one. Say this will better your life. Now this God is is now addicted to several things. Several things. What he used to do, loving God all a year, and pay your eight months in your mobita church for the past seven years. I've not done it that before. And then this guy was what was a church boy, and now he's now here. The different thing, a different lifestyle now is now given to him now. And guess what? This same man will now say, Turn back, he will come here and dig. A massive grief here yeah. to kill him. Now as how call part two go. Mosamra, Mosamra, ha Uchi Street, Uchi Street. And guess what? They say what we're trying ten years, twenty years. Oh, yeah, say we're Jimmy at check. Then he comes here. A ditch. One day you are there. Small shake up. Mm, check up. They mention something. Then that's why you now want to look for God again. It's too late. So you, where are you now? I'm asking you, you know where your own is it like this one? Oh you still have it. The lifestyles you have lived, are you sure you still have this one? That's why this season, God is calling you to godliness. Jump on your feet. Jump on your feet. You are going now. You know you than anybody. Hey, you know you than anybody. You know where your life is right now. You, you know it. You can put up makeup, dress nicely, come to church. That's, that, that's, that's, that's a scam. You know it's a scam. It doesn't make it up anything. You know you. When the lights are off, there's no eye watching you. What do you do? Your phone, what's inside? You know you. You lift up your hands to God. And you will cry for mercy. Father, mercy. Lord, I don't want to give Satan an opportunity. Father, mercy. Father, mercy. If you can, just lift up your voice right now. Just lift up your voice right now. Lord, mercy. Lift up your voice. Father, mercy. Father, mercy. Hey. Father, mercy. 
Maybe I've lost, I've lost, I've lost everything but mercy. Maybe I've given the devil too much an opportunity. Father, mercy, lift up your voice right now. Marakasata, it's time to seek the Lord. Kalabayata, hey, Yadaba. it's time to drop, to drop, to drop this lifestyle. It's time to drop them. It's time to drop everything. Hey, Shatakata. Lord, I will no longer give the devil any opportunity again. Lord, have mercy over my life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Kalaba Shatalabaya Kabarabaya. Lima soparaka satalaba. Reke de bebe reke de be reka satalaba. Father mercy. Lord mercy. If I've unknowingly given the enemy, given the devil an opportunity to torment my life, afflict my destiny. Oh God have mercy. Lift up your voice. Sataka saparada. Lika paradadaba. Eleme kene me sita laba rekaba baba lagada lift up your voice and pray liko borobo take a parakasala in the name of Jesus hear me you are here you know you than anybody I want to lead you to Christ man of God there are things I'm not proud of. I want to drop them and serve God. Man of God, I've, by the sermon, I've given the devil so much opportunity in my life. And I don't know the number of things I've lost. I want God to help me. I want God to help me. Today, 8th of September, I want it to be a day in my life where I made things right. Lift up your hands. Everybody, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No time back. No time, my dream sir. Me dey sweat. My dream sir. Yeah, me dey sweat. Oh, my dream sir. Me dey sweat. Me say my cheek. Me say. Say, Lord Jesus, I've come before you today. Rededicating my life back to you, Jesus. Lord, I've given the enemy several opportunities. I have set my wrong. This day, my father. Look unto your mercy and not my sins and have mercy over me. Have mercy upon my life. Lord, I've run to you today. I've heard your word and my heart is panting for repentance. Lord, help me. Anything I've lost, have mercy. Lord, from today, as I serve you faithfully, restore it unto me. In the name of Jesus. Say, my Father, erase my name from the book of death and write my name in the book of life. If the enemy is dragging me secretly unknowingly to my place of death lord have mercy deliver me oh god deliver me oh god 
deliver me, O God. In the name of Jesus. Say amen. amen. Can you clap your hands right now? Do it better. Clap better. Clap much better. In the name of Jesus. Say amen. Hear me carefully. It's not too late to be right. I said what? It is not. If you have life, you can make things right. Today is 8th September. Let it be a day that you make things right with God. Say big guy, amen. Clap your hands right now for Jesus. Do it better? Yes. Yes. God bless you for listening. Follow the Lord Shepherd's Ministries International TLS on our Telegram channel, the Lord Shepherd's Ministries International, for all our sermons. This and every Sunday at the Revival Tent Meeting at KNUSD Independence Hall, Dining Hall.